Okay, come on through. Okay, I'm gonna spin. I'm spinning today. I'm spinning um, some lace weight yarn today. And I'm spinning it from fibers from Emily at Bricolage Studios. And she's on Etsy. And she's also a good friend of mine who also lives in southwestern Michigan. So I've done some shows and stuff with her. And I will be doing another show with her this summer. And hopefully in the fall too. Anyway, so this is one of her bats. And they're gorgeous textured fibers. And I get a lot of people telling, you know, that I notice say like, oh my gosh, those are so beautiful, but God, they're so chunky, and what in the heck can you do with it? Well, a lot of these bats that I find from the art spinners and the art yarn uh, fiber carters and makers, anyways, we use a lot of like really super soft kind of luxury fibers. So truthfully, even with all of the nips and the noils and the silk and chunks and you'll find mohair curls and stuff a lot of these fibers just draft beautifully and you can take this and instead of spinning it into a rope like art yarn you can also spin it into a very fine lace weight and i don't know if you can see that um that to me is a lace weight i don't i'm not real sure about the actual like wraps per inch on this right now but this is going to end up being knit into a neckerchief or scarf and <laughs> my kids are going to be walking through this video like crazy that's just how i roll sorry if they talk or walk and talk over me but anyways so yeah so so basically what i'm going to do is just i just need to prep this bat so i'm going to tear a piece off and then just grab it and rip the chunk off. And I set my others aside. And then I am just going to add this right in. Now, truthfully, I'm, this is from a bat, but this that I just previously spun was from a um, hand pulled roving from a hackle that Emily made for me. And the fibers are just gorgeous. She has such a beautiful way with color I really like sometimes I, I look at things and I'm like oh I wouldn't I wouldn't I wouldn't do black but I'm spinning it and it I'm just absolutely totally in love with it so anyway so you can see like I'm coming up on some chunky spots here but I'm able to really kind of oops sorry I'm getting caught up in talking spin it and and draft it up well let's go with the slub here <laughs> oh boy okay so anyways but yeah you can really see like the texture getting pulled into this really fine yarn and this is this bat's loaded with I, I, I want to say that it's silk noil that's what it looks like to me I don't I'm not looking at the label right now and lots of Angelina and probably oh I want to say like six different colors and so as I draft it out sorry it's cold out here um, you get this really gorgeous kind of like candy stripe effect with all of these different colors pulled in so anyways I'm just gonna spin a little bit so you can watch and see I'll come up on chunks and a lot of times I like to put my thumb under the chunk to kind of let it kind of almost wrap around that fine yarn oh here's a good nice little chunk of sparkle and here's, okay, here's a big chunk. So this is how you get your texture in your really pretty lace weights. Um, for me, let's, let's see, can you see that? Right in here. But, so when you knit this, or crochet, um, I like to knit with um, a little bit of a fatter needle. You know, so if it calls for like a two or three, I'll typically go for a five or six because I like to see that stitch defin um well I guess yeah stitch definition and the color separations and I really really like the texture but um anyways I highly highly recommend spinning with uh these bricolage bats she just they're just beautiful and they draft so nicely you know, and, 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 and the key, I think, to spinning with these really 
super textured, multicolored bats is to just go with it and have fun and and really look for the texture um, and what kind of makes it special. You know, there's there's a definite um, just beauty in the color changes. Like here, I have some peacock and green, and then I have a nice little yellow silk noil and it goes to lavender. I mean, and when you knit that up, there's just no way to pl to plan for these variances, but they really make for a really stellar, beautiful uh, art to wear piece. And, and um, truthfully, no one's going to knit a sweater from, I don't know, maybe it would be pretty darn cool, but no, I, I, I would never knit, a, you know, a gigantic project unless it was a really large shawl or something like to me here's another chunk these really awesome textured wild pieces need to be yeah that like smaller pieces that kind of stand out maybe a little pouch purse or something for special here's some really beautiful silk Anyway, so I'm just going to spin for a minute. Emily is actually um, a jewelry maker as well and she incorporates her beautiful colors and fibers into uh, really gorgeous little earrings and brooches and stuff and she'll have these little glass tubes where she'll fill it with uh, either the hand spun or little pieces of wool it's just really beautiful she's very very talented and she does metal work too she makes shawl pins and stuff so you can find her stuff on Etsy at Bricolage Studios dot etsy dot com and yeah really can't say enough good stuff about her because she's really fun to be around too and she likes good beer so that's always a bonus Thanks so much for watching.